In this problem, it's very similar to the problem we did in 5. So watch 5 before you watch 6. If um, 5 was confusing, ask me questions and then come to 6. But in 6, it's basically the same scenario, only now we're not going to ignore friction. So let's set this up exactly the same way we set up the other one. We're going to combine the two masses. We're going to make them um, 8.2 kilograms because there's two of them. Now let's think, what are the unbalanced forces acting on this system? Well, there's still, 3.2 is the only one that has a sort of a unbalanced force of gravity. Gravity is definitely pulling down on this. So the force of gravity on the 3.2 kilogram mass is one force, but now there's friction. Friction is acting this way, right? This way, and gravity is acting this way. But what I was saying about the pulley is it's like, you, it just changes the direction, but this is the direction of acceleration. This is the direction of acceleration. So what I'm going to do is just draw the friction as if it's act, because I'm going to call this the direction of acceleration. And so you see how friction is just acting opposite the direction of acceleration. So I'm just going to draw it up. Hopefully that's not too confusing. And really, it's only the force of friction on the 5 kilogram block, isn't it? Because it's not being affected by the the 3.2 is not touching the the tabletop so it's not affecting the friction so this is a little tricky to figure out how to set up this free body diagram um, and if you can figure that out that'd be great this is not the only way to solve this problem I'm calling this version one I'm gonna put two videos in if this speaks to you you don't have to watch the second one but it just illustrates different things about the two problems alright so having said that I'm going to go ahead and solve my free body diagram. So MA equals the sum of the forces. Um, I know in this case, I know the acceleration, I think. If, I, if the coefficient, is, assume it starts to move. Oh, it doesn't tell us the acceleration. We're sorry, we're trying to find the acceleration. So in this, looking at this problem, we've got MA equals the sum of the forces. I'm going to take the direction it's accelerating to be the positive direction, so I don't have to worry about my negative sign here. So I'm going to say this becomes Fg on the 3.2 kilogram mass minus the force of friction on the 5 kilogram mass. So let's play these, let's pull these all out. This mass is the total mass, right? It's 8.2. So 8.2a equals Fg on 3.2 is just. Um, 3.2 times g, um, 9.8, minus, now force of friction is mu ff, mu fn of the 5 kilogram block. Okay, so writing the next line, 8.2a equals, and we can multiply this out, um, 3.2, oops, 3.2 times 9.8 is 31.36. Minus, now let's plug in what we know. Mu is 0 0.18. Fn on the 5 kilogram block. What do you think? Well, in this case, the acceleration is horizontal, so the vertical forces are going to be balanced. So this is just going to be mu times m, which is 5, times g, which is 9.8. Okay, so we have 8.2a equals 31.36 minus times 5 times 0.18 is 28.22. So calculating A, we get 0.38. Is that what they get? There's no answer. 0 0.38 meters per second squared. Um, you can check my answer, and if you get something different, don't assume you're wrong. Check with me, and I'll fix the video. But all we that was wrong, um, and let me re-put in the numbers that we were supposed to get. 0.18 times 5 times 9.8, and that equals point. And that answer works out to what? Point one eight five well five point eight point two two and then A works out to divided by 
and that works out to 2.74, 2.749 meters per second squared. All right, so that's the acceleration of the system. But we're not even asked for the acceleration. But it's just like before when we did those blocks being pushed or blocks being pulled with a rope. They, since they accelerate as a system, this gives us some really useful information when we go to find the internal stuff that's inside this box right now. So let's look at one of the masses. Let's just look at the 3.2 kilogram mass. Um, and just decide what's going on with this. We know that there are forces acting on it. We know that there's a force of gravity. We know that there's a tension force. And this, is, this tension force is my unknown, right? That's what the question is asking me to solve. Now I know that it's accelerating down at 2.7 meters per second squared. So I can go ahead and solve this equation. Um, so looking at this free body diagram, I get MA equals the sum of the forces. So I can put in 3.2 times 2.7 equals, I'm going to take my down direction to be positive because it's accelerating down. So then Fg, I can say this just equals Fg minus Ft. So um, doing that, Fg is just 3.2 times 9.8 minus Ft. So solving for Ft, I'll do it make sure this time we've got it correct, we get 3.2 um, so newtons or 23 newtons. You can round that to two decimal places and make it 23 like on the sheet. So the tension in the string is 23 newtons, and that means the 5 kilogram block is also being pulled with a force of 23 newtons. Even though there is this full mg being acted on, remember it absorbs some of, its, some of that force for its accelerating itself, and whatever's left, it's pulling the other mass along with it. So this is just one way to do it. There's another way to do it, which I'll try in version 2, and in that example, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to combine the two as a system. I'm just going to look at individual, for, individual masses, um, and then I'm going to have to solve a system of equations. So you can check that out if you're interested.